making that old eagle engine moan Grabbing gears, watching black smoke roll Heading down the highway with another load Making that old eagle engine moan From sun up to sundown, you'll find me at the wheel Working for my baby, trying to pay some bills Ain't no fame or fortune in this life I know Making that old eagle engine moan I'm making that old eagle engine moan Grabbing gear, watching black smoke roll Heading down the highway with another load Making that old eagle Hey, Stanley Orchard, you want to go fishing? Well, I was kind of curious if maybe you guys had a extra room on the boat. I wouldn't mind going and getting a few. All right, we'll pick you up. Hey, everybody. Today we're up on Augre. We're going after walleye, and it's collaboration video time. Next to me is Mr. Stanley Orchard. He's from Texas. He drove all the way up here to join us today. And along shortly will be John from A&J Outdoors and Grant McIntosh from Grant McIntosh. Four YouTubers all collaborating for a special video. Stick around and watch this one. It should be good. Oh, this is getting, This is one we've been looking forward to for the longest amount of time. I'm super excited. And there's John now. John and Grant. This is just a little bit ridiculous. This is four guys just pointing cameras at each other. side of the boat well actually on Stanley's side of the boat because he's gonna fish this side there's two uh, stick baits out first and then inside we have two bottom bouncers with crawler harnesses I'm gonna go to the front drive the boat and let these two guys fish I got a side of the boat <laughs> and if he doesn't catch any fish on that side of the boat it's his fault not mine It could be seaweed, it could be a big old freshwater drum. Man, if it's a fish, it's a big damn fish. It's got weight to it. Keep your rod tip up, Stan. I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job. <laughs> Well, folks, if this is a fish, to my knowledge, this will be Stanley's first ever Great Lakes fish. Yeah, yeah. Whatever the heck it is, it will be his first. And it, by the feel of it, this is going to be the biggest freshwater fish I've ever had. And probably on par with some of the better stuff we've got this year, period. I think I do feel a little bit of a... A little bit of a... Movement down there. I'm going to come back to this when he gets it closer to the boat. Yeah, Stanley's got a fish. Oh, a hell of a way to start this trip, man. Bring him right up next. What to is the fish? Got it. Oh, we can see it. We can see it. Catfish. 
Catfish? Don't you catch those down in Texas? Yeah, that's not what I was expecting at all. You came all the way to Michigan to catch what you can catch in Texas. Hardheads! <laughs> I don't care what it is, I got one. Not a bad start to the day or the trip or anything. I am happy with that. That's different. Right there. Are you recording too? Yeah, I'm recording too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Good Check job. that out, man. That's my first one. I can't. I can't even. I don't even know what to say about that. I'm just super stoked about it. Steve, thank you so much, man. Awesome. Let's get in the live ball. Let's get it back down. Catch another one. Let's do it. Stanley's going to reach in, grab that walleye, and show those guys over there. They just caught a walleye. Woo! <laughs> Your turn, Grant! Get you some! They got one. They got one. boards, bottom bouncers, and he's doing it just like he's done his whole entire life on the Great Lakes. Maybe he has. Maybe maybe you maybe you buffaloed us, Stanley. You know exactly what you're doing on the Great Lakes. I, I had to make up for lost time. <laughs> oh, 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 what you got? What you got? Yes, sir. Get him. Get him. Get him. Shaquille O'Neal try to shoot a free throw. Woo! To say that we're fishing in nice conditions, well, I can't say that, but we just put another walleye in the boat. Chris put that one in. I didn't have the camera on, and it just was mayhem. It's getting kind of, kind of wet out here, but if the fish are biting, we're going to keep on trying. Right, fellas? All about it. All about it. I don't know what everybody's talking about. I'm loving this. <laughs> the weather's right up my alley. Welcome to Michigan.
bit of money in the box right there, boys. Our friends have decided that it's too wild and woolly out here for them, and they're gonna pack it in and head it for home. We're gonna stick it out. We're gonna stay out here for a while. We wanna put some more walleye in the boat. So, catch you guys later. And there they go. We'll see them back at port right after we get done with cleaning the fish at the fish cleaning station. Here comes Stanley with another fish. I'm bringing around to the side. Another walleye. Good yeah, job, buddy. Mr. Stanley. The Texan puts another one in the boat. Wind's beginning to pick up. The weather's getting kind of crappy. We're going to try this for about another half hour, and then we're going to call it a day. We are, I'm going to consider this a success because we got this guy, his first walleye, his first Great Lakes catfish, and of course the first walleye, so it's a success. First time on the Great Lakes, first time with a lot of that. It, I made memories today that I will, I'll be, I'll be remembering, I'll be telling stories about for the rest of my life, period, bar none. I'm having a blast. Yeah. Gonna try and figure out if we can't convince these guys to do another run or a walk out on the jetty or something tonight, tomorrow. We'll, we'll talk about that in a future video. We'll see, we'll see if we can convince them to do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm game for a lot of things. We, we might be able to do that. So um, we're probably gonna wrap up here pretty quick. We're gonna take the walleye. We got a catfish and freshwater drum. We're going to take those up to the cleaning station and get them clean and we're going to have a cookout tonight. I think we're cooking out. Stanley's going to cook out. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. <laughs> so we'll see you guys back at the fish cleaning station and uh, we'll get these cleaned up. Looking forward to it. Back at the fish cleaning station, I got to say this is one of the sweetest fish cleaning stations I've ever seen. So to wrap it all up, Stanley comes up from Texas, gets to be in my boat. Uh, Grant is in John's boat. They'll be here shortly. I guess they didn't clean their fish yet. And uh, we're going to get busy cleaning these, these fish and have a fish fry. Stanley, thank you so much thank for, coming for having me out. Coming up here and being with us. Uh, Chris, Steve, gentlemen, I cannot thank you enough. This has been one of the, I, like, I know it's not the biggest hole in the world, but man, this is. Uh, memories, memories I will have for a lifetime. I thank you for that. We got three walleye, catfish, and a sheep's head, freshwater drum. Stanley wanted to, to to clean these and see if they're the same as what you have in Texas. Is that correct? I'm curious. So this is exactly what we call black drum down in Texas, and people target them. Uh, it's uh, just like redfish, uh, real similar to redfish that we get down there. People are all about it. It's like the big thing that people come down to Corpus Christi to fish for, so I'm curious to see what it tastes like. All right, well, I guess that kind of wraps it up. Um, I want to thank you all for watching, and again, thank you, Stanley, for coming, and Grant and John will be along shortly. So until the next time, take care, and God bless. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, caught a few in the river. See, they don't have blue cats in They got flatheads and channels. Yeah, I'm not caught a flathead. Yeah. The channels in this river are huge. I mean, that's just an average one, and that's big for some cases.